it matters not what you've done, who you are, or where you're from. Hear me now. God is a God of love. He would never, ever cast anyone into the depths of hell. I was in prayer the other day, and I experienced this most profound thing, a voice, a message, as clear as the morning sun. And do you know what that voice said to me? You do not need God all the time. Because my friends, God, as mighty and omnipotent as he is, can't be with us all the time. So let us cherish the presence of those around us. Let us appreciate the love and the compassion of our friends, families, and coworkers. Welcome back to The Forge, where iron sharpeneth iron. I'm Pastor Derek Van Voorst, and today's episode we have a, a truly remarkable person, Pastor Bill Balaam, all the way from Downers Grove, Illinois. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Pastor Derek. All righty, let's just dive right in. So your church's success story is rather remarkable. You went from a storefront all the way to a 10,000-seat auditorium. How did you accomplish such a feat? Well, Derek, it really wasn't that difficult. I simply went door to door asking people what they wanted in their church. And you know, we gave them precisely the kind of church that resonated with them. Fascinating. So Pastor Bill, I, I, I've read that you are working on a Bible rewrite project. Um, taking some other Bibles and kind of collabing them together. Could you, could you explain more about that project to me? Of course. So there's so many different versions of the Bible. And... We are going to, we want to use AI as a way to make a more perfect Bible, a, re, a real defined version. This is, this is rather intriguing to me, but I just have one question. What about the King James Bible? We feel the King James Bible needs to be put into mothballs. We feel that a lot of it is misunderstood. And we want to make a more friendly Bible. Really? The King James Bible is so revered. Are you sure about this decision? We have talked to many folks and many prominent members of the new, new order of churches, and they all feel the same way. They feel that the King James needs to be put out to pasture. Pastor Bill, in 2 Timothy 3.16, the Bible says all Scripture is given by inspiration of mm -hmm. God. How can you say that a book that God deems inspired from the original writings needs anything added to it? The King James Bible says that, but it does not mean it. What? Today we're diving deep into the pivotal moment in the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus was in the heart of the temple preaching to the crowd as his ministry was coming to an end. In just a few short days, Jesus would be tried, scourged, and crucified. But in this day, the Pharisees and the Sadducees were on a mission with unrelenting zeal to catch Jesus and trap him. The whole of Jewish religious leadership was bent on destroying Jesus on this particular day. They had come at him in three waves, trying and prodding with persistent zeal, questioning him, testing his resolve at every turn. 
These were false teachers. They were hypocrites. They were lying cheats who were outraged because Jesus ruining their overpriced, wicked, money-changing tables that were being used to rob the people by selling overpriced sacrificial animals. Jesus was about to conclude his public ministry and turn his attention to his disciples in this, his last week of life on earth. My dear friends, this was a moment of profound significance. Jesus stood at the presence of his crucifixion. This was the last time that he would stand before the masses and preach. His last message was not an edifying and repentance message. It was a tone of urgent alarm and a warning. His last message was, beware the scribes. Jesus told the people to beware of the religious leadership. Beware of the very men who come to you in the name of God. Jude said, these false teachers are like clouds without water, trees without fruit. Run from them lest your clothes be burnt with their fire. As we navigate this conversation, let's recall the words of Jesus. Beware the scribe and beware the false teacher. In a world filled with diverse interpretations, we must exercise discernment. These individuals who cater to the crowds and feed them with what they want are treading a dangerous path. Their destinations, if unchanged, is nothing but eternal hell fire. Remember, it's our responsibility to seek the truth, to be against misleading teachings, and to stay aligned with the teachings of our Savior. This can only be done with one Bible, one word. Men who marginalize the Bible who base salvation on works and love are not preaching sound doctrine. Every false teacher carries a common denominator, hypocrisy. The most malignant essence of false teaching is deeply rooted in this hypocrisy. In the books of Matthew 23 and Mark 12, Jesus delivered a powerful final warning and guess who he was addressing? That's right, the false teachers. These were the individuals who professed a gospel that was not just misguided, but was starkly antichrist. Back then and even now, it's imperative to beware of those who claim to be religious, but deceive and coax you into following the distorted paths. So my dear friends, Let's turn to our King James Bible, a beacon of truth. Seek out a church that faithfully and practice and preaches from the Holy Scriptures. And remember, salvation comes only through grace received by faith. If a church claims to be woke, it's dead. Jude 1.3 says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you by the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Any church who deviates from the Bible's teaching is without a doubt a false and dead church. My friends, seek the Lord today. Your faith, your salvation depend on it. Now, thank you for turning in to today's message. If it resonated with you, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It helps us continue bringing you valuable insights. Until next time, this is Pastor Bob reminding you to stay vigilant against the lures of hypocrisy and false teachings. God bless you.